the national database for the potential suppliers and contractors in the oil and gas industry and so much needed to convert actual business operations into cash is yet to be set up. The authority has started developing the database. It's going to be developed in three phases. We will have a register of all qualified potential suppliers. We'll have the, subsequently, we'll have a joint qualification system which will indicate, among other things, the areas that the different companies are in. And finally, we shall have an e-market where the a procurement of services, goods and services in the oil and gas sector is undertaken on this supplier database. The joint venture partners Talo, Total and Sinok combined are expected to churn out a record 30 trillion shillings into Uganda's economy over the next four years. There are about 25 industries from transport, cement, insurance, financial services, all those catering, security, all those are opportunities and there are gaps. And, and what the industry needs to do is to come and talk to us and say, where can I participate? Where are the gaps? The fourth local content conference on oil and gas, repositioning local service providers for the next phase of oil development, has been held here in Kampala. As Parliament did our part, we provided for 48% local content in this business. So what we want to hear from the private sector is that we are ready and we have the capacity. The joint venture partners are also putting up an industry enhancement center which seeks to incubate domestic enterprises for the oil and gas sector. If we have companies registering into the national supplier database, if they are found to be lacking, the industry enhancement center is where they can go and get that compliance to be able to come back and be certified within the National Supplier Database. The issuance of the production licenses, the launch of the front-end engineering design for the oil fields and pipeline, among others by the Ministry of Energy, and oil players are seen as an ambitious attempt aimed at commercializing the resource by the year 2020. Reina Ojan, NTV Business.